Hey everyone, welcome to Garage Avenger. I'm Justin. In this episode, I'm gonna cook a sausage. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you the safety squint. I'm gonna use the English language to its full extent. And I might actually make something. So, come join me and let's go make some shit. After finishing my chairs, I kicked back and had a beer with all my mates. But I soon realized it was a bit of a problem. So I found myself on the internet again <laughs> and later found some inspiration. I like this concept, but it didn't really match my chairs. So I decided to sit down and do some drawing and come up with my own design. As previously stated, I'm a hobo and I have got tires and wheels down the side of my house. Old mate Habib had done a fully sick burnout and hit the curb and damaged this rim. And I got a couple of tires that have fixed this as well. Then it was time to put on this tire. Yes. The first side went on pretty sweet. Yes. Who would have thought I learned from the last time? But again, things didn't go according to plan. Alright, so I've had a bit of trouble with my tyre. I'm off to see a friend of mine um, to go get the tyre put on the rim. And uh, let's hope it's a lot easier than what it was for me earlier. Something felt a bit dirty after we put on that tire, so I had to give it a bit of a wash, and that was going to give us a good base to start with anyway. Up next was the brake disc. I found this one in the bin at my local mechanic. It was a bit rusty, so I decided to use my wire brushes just to clean it up a bit, make it all look nice. Now for this, I would recommend you do not use the safety squint. That, for those that don't know, that's like this, when you're doing something. I've been around for a while, I've had too many close calls. Put your safety glasses on, peeps, if you've got them. If you don't have them, go out and buy them, because your eyes are awesome, and without your eyes, you wouldn't be watching this video. So, safety first, all right? The brake disc was looking rust free and awesome. I used a bit of degreaser to make sure it was nice and clean and then put a little bit of oil on just to prevent the rust from coming back. Right, off to the store to find some bolts. These wheel nuts were kind of expensive, about 199 Norwegian kroners. That equates to like 1.2 million US. I decided to go for these normal bolts and nuts. They were about half the price, so they were gonna do great. I had an old lead strip lying around. I thought it would be cool if I used this on it, so I used cable tied it around the edge of the brake disc. Bolting together my wheel and my brake disc was pretty easy. I just used my 50 millimeter M12 bolts and my nylock nuts, put them through, and use a spanner to tighten them up. So here's my... It's heavy as f***, you didn't. Aziz, light! Very good at this. Now the plan is, this is supposed to be a coffee table, so you can't really put, you know, things in. They kind of fall down, so... I'm going to put some plexiglass over the top and uh, just shove that on there and we're going to cut it round. So, that's what we're doing next. We're working out how to cut it round with limited tools and stuff. Side note, usually blueberries and yogurt, tip top. I took some measurements to make sure that I was going to cut it from the centre. 
and then that I made this awesome jig out of some plywood. You can check the link below for a video on how to do that. Now it's time to cut it, and this worked out pretty good. On a side note, when you're cutting plexiglass you want to support it quite a bit. Depending on your quality of plexiglass, it can crack really easily. After cutting I used the sander to smooth out the sides and round off the sharp edges. Uh, so there we have it, a uh, rough circle freehand would have been a lot worse, so glad I did the jig. Now I'm going to remove this, but before I do any of that, I think I'm going to make the links. Here we go now. I got the small blade in and it gets too hot. It smokes like a mother. So, I have another blade, let's change that. The new blade worked awesome. There's no problems there. But I really wasn't happy with the color. I wanted it black. I didn't have any black paint or anything. I thought, you know what? Let's do my version of Shishugi Ban. That's Japanese for burnt wood. And I thought, why not take lunch at the same time? Mm -mm. <gasps> Looks awesome! And it was free! Up next was fastening my legs to my Shishugi Barn burnt base. Okay, so one downside of our heat treatment blackening is the fact that now the board is bowed. But I think that's not going to be a problem once we screw it to the tire, because it's going to be flattened out by the rim and everything else. <laughs> to fasten my light switch, I used a bit of contact glue and I just used a black marker to colour in the white cable to ensure that the cable can't really be seen from the side. That's not exactly white. Totally crap. There's still one problem. No hubcap. What was I going to do? So I dug deep into my hobo roots and went back diving into the bins. I found a couple of lids, but this tomato puree lid fit perfect. And even looked mad. I was going to spray it, but then I decided not to. It's cool. Now we're on the vinegar stroke. Just a couple of dobs of black silicon will fix my plexiglass to my table. And we're finished. So once again, you can make anything from a bit of rubbish. I'm stoked with the results and I hope you guys are too. Well, that's it guys. The table looks awesome. It's time to relax. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.